before I'm small year bar just maybe 400 baht one year bar but now 20 baht bro fuck crazy my mom told me like kid maybe like 12 in small year bar bro but before kid no have to think you eat or you smoke your bar and then you eat you fool you smoke your bar you fool same just sometimes oh i do this one day no one plan and then just stop talking stop go this this area like uh, you got to be good guy <laughs> Welcome to the Fruiting Body Podcast with your host, Brendan. And today we have another legend of a guest. It is Top Noi from Bangtao Muay Thai and MMA. We're going to be learning about Top Noi's story. It's not just going to be focused on MMA and fighting because I know a lot of viewers, maybe that's not something you're interesting, interested in. This podcast is about a young Muay Thai fighter growing up in Thailand and his career of getting him to where he is today and even competing now in the UFC. We're going to understand where he started and what took him to now being at Bangtao Muay Thai and MMA in Phuket. We got our little dog here, Piggy. Um, we also have my girlfriend, A, again on the podcast. She'll be helping with the translations. She also helped out with Loma. If you are tired of listening to me ramble and talk, we have timestamps below so you can navigate and choose chapters um, to let you know about who is Fruiting Body Podcast. Well, we're located on Phuket, Thailand, and we are a medicinal mushroom supplement company. So we're doing stuff like cordyceps, lion's mane, reishi, uh, and different types of nootropics blends. We'll leave links in the description to that, uh, fruiting-body.com. We're selling on Shopee and Lazada only in thailand for now uh so yeah okay i'm rambling there uh now before we get started do not forget to like subscribe hit that bell notification and now we're gonna get it started with top noise so cup and cop okay cup and cop top noise thank you yes. so much for joining us you, today yes. um i don't know why i sound like a radio host kind of stupid now let's start tell us about yourself where are you from where did you grow up in thailand Oh, I'm named Top Noi, just I'm from like a Buyram, just Isan, you know, just, yeah, um, yes, I'm from Isan. Yeah, so same area as Loma, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Did you guys, did you grow up, did you know each other in Buyram? Uh, not, not yet, but, but, but I don't know, name her, but I, I, I don't understand who Loma, but I, I know name her already. Yeah. Yes. Did because we learned her story about Loma and her name, Loma, the dolphin story and yes. how the... Uh, two promoters were trying to fight Loma and herself ah, together. Yeah, 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 this yeah, story yeah, is yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's so yes, funny. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, well, so anyone, we did a podcast with Loma Lokmumi. She's also over at Bangtao Muay Thai. You can check that out. We'll probably put that at the end of the podcast or maybe something here. Um, you started in Muay Thai. What age did you start? I started when, in like, uh, 11 years old. I started fighting Muay Thai, you know, like, same, my dad, Kim loved Muay Thai a lot, but, um, um, my brother just looking TV in like Chanel something like Chanel Seven or something. Just I looking, I have to fight with my brother. But like my dad see, oh, you want to fight Muay Thai or something? Yeah, I, I tell him yes, of course. Why? Why not do? Just next day, like my dad take me go in the gym, train, train every week. Understand? Not not easy for me. Like a you know, me like a. Banok was Angi Kawa and Banok, but country like and look up a man, the country and it's no easy for you to go, go like a to go overseas or yes, yes, go like inside Buram and then help city and, and country. Just every week, Saturday and, and Sunday, I go to train. No, 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 no train all week, just only Saturday and Sunday. Mm. But yes, I do this every week. I'm going to fly. Yeah. Was it when you start Muay Thai at age 11? But many kids in Thailand, they start very young, like yes. five, six. Yes, yes. So, yes. my question starting Muay Thai at age 11, is this older in Thailand? But not yet. Yes, 11, good. Just, yeah, when, when you start more young, more really good, bro. It's just mm. strong. You know everything Muay Thai, and then. Yeah, many. 
Muay Thai children, they start fighting because they need to make money for the family. But you started because you just wanted to fight. Yeah, money, same. Same too. Same money. Is this a part of the culture in Isan? The children, they fight to help make money for the family? Yes. And yes. is it a, 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 it's a good way of income for the family? Like, is it very important? Just, I don't know, bro. Just, you, you want to fight like Isan, like so hard. You know, Isan, like very hard. Just everything. Yes, have everything. You have feet. You have for it, but you don't have money. Mm -hmm. Just you want. You need money. And it's then when your parents, what were they doing in Isan? What was your like childhood, your life growing up? Like uh, explaining um, growing up. What what was his parents' job? What was it like? The life uh, style of a child growing up in Isan. Oh. อ่าครับครัวทําอะไรอ่ะตอนครับครัวทําอะไรอ่ะตอนครับครัวทําอะไรอ่ะตอนครับครัวทําอะไรอ่ะตอนครับครัวทําอะไรอ่ะตอนคร
you're coming from the farm to the city mm -hmm. to do the boxing. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, explain your career in Muay Thai as a child. Um, what was that career path like? Were you fighting every week, every Saturday? How did that work? Yeah, just, um, I'm going in the city where I'm just, I go to fight and to training. Some, some week, I'm not have fight, like uh, I'm training, understand? Every week, some, sometimes like you fight afternoon, tonight you fight more. Go like four, five, five don't lie, just stupid, like crazy. One, five, five don't lie, understand? Just what, what was wrong with this money? You pain, you hurt, but only five don't lie. You don't know what about I mean? Yeah, just yes. five dollars a fight. Yes. So yes. that's like, uh, what is that? Two hundred. Like two hundred baht. Yes. Two hundred baht. Yes. And at what age? That's like eleven to fifteen. Mm. No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. Eleven. Oh, like fifteen. I'm um, finished school and go in Bangkok. I go to like big gym in Bangkok. Which gym? Big, big gym. I uh, shoot My mm -hmm. gym, like shoot tonight. Him, him, big gym. Like take people. Go to there, like uh, go to fight Rachid Amnon or Lumpini, yes, or Chanel or something. Is this the dream of a young Muay Thai child to be able to fight in the big stadiums? Yes, and champion. Why is that dream? Is it to be the champion or is it to help make money for the family? Like uh, together, together and big name or have champion. Have, uh, every time just uh, looking like same people stay in gym like all up. Uh, all guy or something him oh I have champion a lot or have money a lot but I, I want to be same him understand but mm -hmm. feel like different more like tired this I watched a, a movie on Netflix or a documentary remember we watched about Muay Thai yes yes, yes in I, Thailand I, you I, saw the one yes 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 and they show it's very difficult for the kids and even they put shit they put stuff in the water yes of course did you see this growing up Yes. Did this happen to you? Just you know, like in inside my gym, like you you, you don't know who who this guy and then just no care. Roy Paul Pan Nam, 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 Pan you can't guess, you, you don't know, mm. yes. And you don't know they're gonna come to you like like what is good or bad, you can't guess. Okay, can, can you explain, I understand because I live in Thailand, can you mm. explain why are these people um, putting, not poison, but they put stuff in the drink of the, why are, are they doing this? Ah, uh, just money bro, bad mafia or something, just you won, you lose or won, you win. Money, Sien Moy, like Sien Moy was angry, how I poke Sien Moy. Gambling and. Yes, mm. yes, this mafia, you know, like gangster or something, like people, people big, just mm. mafia, bro, just. Do they. Crazy. When, when you're young, do the gamblers talk to you and say, hey, this fight, I need you to do this? Can you, can you experience that? Yes, of course. Mm. Like, uh, for, like, maybe people. Keep money you understand? Oh, you know you win, but Nick, oh I keep money you a lot. Just this fight, I keep you two hundred thousand baht for you lose this fight. Just have one guy talk about with me this. I'm I'm crazy a lot. Just what what's wrong with him? Understand? I I I talk with my trainer, my trainer talk shit with him like fuck bro, people crazy. Yeah, but so much money to make, right? Two hundred thousand. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot of money. Yes. Um. Now, the career path of Muay Thai, you start, you start in Buriram, mm -hmm. and now you go to Bangkok. Tell me the story. That, that path, that connection, mm -hmm. Buriram to Bangkok, how did that happen? Just, I'm going to Bangkok, you know, just, I find a help name, I'm, I'm fight big stadium, you know, like Rachidam Nguyen, Lumpini. But when you fight big stadium, you, back, you have like big name, drunk lady, Everything easy, you know, yeah, but everything easy for you. Just you looking before Muay Thai, oh, good, like a strong man. No, bro, just before Muay Thai, like stay inside gym, you know, like 9, 9 p.m., like dawn, finish telephone, like sleeping. Same like 
what what about me like same like chicken fighting you know what about me same Yeah, just using, using you using you yes using the people just yes, make money you you know not 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 see lady just people go like crazy yeah they just want they're using you to uh whether people are gambling uh, they yeah. want you to make money for the gym right yes 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 yeah 50 50% is that is that how it works 50 50 yes and when you get to a gym like lumpani what are they paying the fighters uh I don't know this bro but I never know like what what you pay or something but but when you fight and like a we run good when you go in Lubini people pay you more a lot, a lot of money It's just you have champion in we run or something you have culture and then is the training or talk about the the daily training is it's obviously it's much more intense than Burry Ram you're training like eight hours a day four hours a day How did it work for you um when you wake up in the morning? What uh, is your training day? Okay, just I tell you. When I wake up like 5 a.m., bro, just 5 a.m., you go shower or something, you run like a, when you will have a shower um you come to go to run like maybe 10 kilo. So as you leave, you, you you do like clinching or you kick pad or you kick back like maybe finish like 10 or 11 like you sleeping, you wake up 3 3 p.m., you go skipping go skipping just and kick pad kick back spalling do this every day mm. hot like one day maybe be like three hour or five hour and then just every day do this no no have, have time to like a go holiday time to do like just do this do this do this when you five finish seven day why you looking people tie people more tie like a champion a lot or good guy like now or like fat Fail, or fat and then just not have time to relax. Really like. Yeah, and you see like many Muay Thai gyms here, the the fighters, the trainers, mm -hmm. um, the lifestyle, they will still, your meals, they're very simple, rice, meat, vegetable, and where you're living too, sometimes the, um, the, the, the trainers, they'll be living in small, like a bamboo hut. Is this normal? Like uh, in Phuket and Buriram? where like where they're living maybe explain that a bit แบบ camp ที่ฝึกมวยอ่ะค่ะที่อยู่อ่ะค่ะแบบที่อยู่เป็นแบบไหนอ่ะค่ะแล้วก็เอ่อที่เค้าเคยเห็นก็คือเป็นเหมือน
the the older trainers they can hit you in the balls yeah or can you talk about this because um it's recent it's in the news where people are explaining it's it's a difficult brotherhood just you know fighting my thai like man like like a man isn't just people big trainer or before like people hit him same and then just him when him small him when him young like people do this with him him do him, when he grow up or him him big him do this with people young same like crazy bro it's just it, it's okay the when you're growing up you kind of you accept it you're okay with this mm, for me not mm. just what well, you you know you don't understand some people different you understand why why you do this mm. no 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 good bro just like bullying yes bully like sometimes you know like thailand man pen pati ti prachat ti patai ya man man no 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 do this bro translation we have a good you're good okay um now we talked about this before the podcast and i think this is your life story and interesting that you can share with us um stuff like yaba it's in all over thailand it's a big problem and especially in muay thai gyms can you talk about your experience with that and let the world know kind of what you went through and now how you've succeeded to what you are today เออประเทศไทยอ่ะเค้าเห็นว่าประเทศไทยตอนเนี้ยมีปัญหาเกี่ยวกับอ่ายาบ้าเยอะระบาดเยอะแล้วเอ่อพี่มีวิธีรับม
So Hans will probably throw up a QR code. You can scan that as well. Or links are in the, in the descriptions. Go check them out. Let them know if we sent you there. It just helps us grow this podcast. So let's get back to the podcast now. Um, so let's move forward. Now, you're in Bangkok. You're at Lumpini. Mm-hmm. And now you come to Phuket and you go yes. to Tiger Muay Thai. Yes. Tell, tell us the story from Lumpini to Tiger Muay Thai. How did that happen? Just when I 20, 22 or 23, just I'm fat, but I eat a lot. You know, just, I train, but but you you know control when you eat. And then you eat like, uh, or like, but I train every day, but no finish fat. And then just, Eat, drink beer, like drink whiskey. But I train every day, but a lot of pumpy and a lot of fat. Mm. So I think, oh, fuck, body like a, no same before. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I go some work or some do like trainer. Yes. Um, all for time, I'm, I'm going to do like security. Security? Yes. Uh, in Phuket or Bangkok? No, 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 it's muy. Ah, Kosamui, yeah. Yes, I do uh, in security, like, um, when, when, when I go to this area, I'm thinking, fuck, why I no fighting before? What, what's wrong with, with me? Like, uh, bro, like, you, you, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not telling, like, security is good or not good, but, bro, it's just strong, and then just you stand all night, you know, sleeping, just, fuck, you walk around, like, so boring. Some hotel, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking a lot. But but now I, I'm called uh, one guy him him stay tiger, I'm Clyde and then just fuck I'm I'm no one to do this please take me go tiger, I'm got to be trainer yes but but guy uh, him name Pao and then him, him I, I want I, I want to, you know uh, him a, name. a Thai guy yes That's him name Pao so Pao tell me uh, okay you come go to be trainer I'm oh I'm telling you thank you very much just blah blah but when I go tiger I got to be trainer. Okay. Are you are you still good friends with Bao? Uh, he is he in Phuket still and uh yes, but t- sometimes not. So okay. yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Um which year did you go to Tiger? Um Oh, when I young I go to cut to Tiger one year when 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 I'm young. Just train training. Yeah, training. Yeah. Yes, we uh, be Tiger before, 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 no no not the same Tiger now. Yeah, yeah. You know what what about me? Like say Tiger before, before maybe 11 years old before. Okay, so like almost... Different now, bro. Yeah, almost 18 years ago. Yes, long yes, time. yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah. And, but it was on the Soy Street, same location? Yeah, yeah same location, okay. same area, but Frank... Yeah, Frank, um, okay. yeah they come in. Yes. Did wi- So which year did you go to Tiger Muay Thai uh-huh. to be a trainer? Do you remember the year you, you went? Mm, seven years before. Like yes. 2015 yeah 14 15 okay yes when you when you got to tiger your job now you're a muay thai trainer yes how many trainers did they have there oh a lot a lot so now tigers it's pretty big at this yes. point yes now you're you're a trainer at, at tiger now you meet george yes Expl- yeah talk about what's your relationship with george from tiger <laughs> But uh, sorry, uh, George Hickman and the Hickman brothers, uh, okay. which is one of the owners now of uh, Bangtao Muay Thai. This, you know, when when I see George first time in Tiger, just like people Thai have 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 mind like, stupid, just forang, no care who even slept. I want to slap some forang, let's talk shit with him, blah blah blah, and then him. No good, bro. Just you 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 need to respect, and then people Thai think people forang have a lot of money, but. Everyone same, people same, bro. Just help, help, not have money same. Like, and same people, but I see George for time like uh, talk with him, blah blah, talk shit or, oh, uh, yeah, like this talk shit with him, blah blah. When when have one fight in into Bangkok, my friend him him train him MA, him name Sa, him train him MA, but but him no fight. But I'm I'm never train MMA anymore. I'm going to fight. Crazy. Mm. You, yeah, you were going to fight MMA or Muay Thai? MMA. MMA. Yes. When, how did you decide you want to do MMA? Um, I'm, I'm thinking like, a, when, when, when I do MMA, just good for me. Like, a, you have to cheat 
you have to teach Frank, just, you know, start MMA or you start Muay Thai, just, you make it, and then when you hold pad or something. And were you training jujitsu and wrestling at Tiger? Slowly? Uh, some, some, sometime. Sometime, yeah. Um, now, as you're, we'll, we'll talk about, you were on the road to the UFC, and I saw your fights in Singapore. I mean, uh, a, excellent fight. And even your last fight, which we understood you lost, but man, you fucked the guy up. Like, uh, he kind of won, yes, by the wrestling and submission, but you were 100% winning this fight. You're well, like very, very close. I uh, think a little bit more of just stay away. And you were going to knock him out, right? Yes. So that, that experience on the road to the UFC, are you talking to the UFC? What's next for you? Are, what you think, will they give you that opportunity or what, what can happen still in the UFC? Um, well, I'm, I'm thinking like UFC like me a lot. But of course, yeah. Yes, but, but I need to fight, one fight to fight, like go to fight like a UFC plus or something. I don't know. But ah, okay. when, when, when I go to fight, like a, I'm do 100%, bro. Just I, I want to entertain. Just you do crazy, okay, no problem. No problem, like a... People remember you, just I tell you, like, people remember you when, when you do crazy or you, you do some bad thing. No, but like, okay, that you fight, you have to think, ah, you, you want to make this guy, like, uh, not sleeping, him him think a lot or something. When finish fight, like, friend, bro, just friend. Finish fight, everything finish. And so you think they they will give you, uh, like, a UFC fight pass or they'll give you another fight? Are, are are you talking with management, or are you, or you have to be quiet about it? Uh, uh, May I uh, fight in China? In May? May. For UFC? Or a different promotion? Yeah, like a road to UFC or something, but I'm uh, now not yet. But, yet. but I'm no, like, maybe five and more five. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Just, I'm, I'm not one to talk about this. You're looking same. You don't want to look into the future yes, too yes, far. Yes, you yes. want to uh, Where, slowly. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. You 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 want to see here before here. No, no, no. Want to think a lot. Yeah, bro. I understand. Okay, now you're you're over at Bangtao Muay Thai and MMA. Uh -huh. Um, you're do, you're a Muay Thai trainer there. Mm -hmm. You've been with them since the start. So, how is your experience working now up in this part of Phuket Island? Are you enjoying the experience? Is it uh, you're you're working eight hours a day? Is this um, this is something that's working for you? You enjoy it? Mm, yes, yeah. I enjoy like a you know same family, bro. Now like no 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 same like a no same before. Now like family work work for you family just just Alec Woody Loma same like before one year never um I'm never have anything but now different just i uh, and thank you us every good yes you see other thai fighters like loma mm -hmm. and you're watching her um you saw her last fight this was amazing uh-huh she got the submission does this give you inspiration motivation when you watch her i mean you, it's almost like your sister yes yeah so when you watch her i mean can you see yourself this is you know this is something you want as well yes I'm happy, a, yeah. a lot happy. Just for her, for me, like go to be together a long time. Just I have to promote with her, like uh, go to UFC together. Yeah, just always. now I'm do, I'm try. Yeah, I now I saw you're you're up in. Were you in Pattaya or Bangkok for Fairtex? Pattaya. Pattaya. Yes. Pattaya. I can never say that. How do you say this properly? What is Pattaya? Pattaya. Pattaya. Okay, I'll try my best. Um. What what were you doing there? There was a sponsorship? Yes. And how does that relationship work with Fairtex? They they give you like clothing or how does uh, it? Keep, yes, keep me the clothing. Uh, you now have, have what name brand you and Fairtex and then uh, keep me some clothes, grub, everything. But he, when I go UFC, like I think pay money or something. But yeah, yeah. yeah they, help, they help. Yes, with they help the, yeah. with the expenses and the cost mm -hmm. as well. Um, because to travel for fighting, it's very expensive. You mm -hmm. have to pay flight, hotel, food. Um, it's not it's not cheap. Yeah. Um, now that you're training MMA, 
are you focusing more on wrestling and jujitsu? Is this important to you? Yes. Or do you just want to go out there and get the no, knockout? No, just now, now, now. I'm I'm learning a lot wrestling with friend with y'all. I'm 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 learning a lot BJ with Alec. Just striking. I'm I'm striking already. Just I have more time when I'm 11 years old. Just now I'm I'm doing striking and, and BJ. I I'm doing like wrestling and BJ a lot, bro. Just I'm I want to to go to be like top ten in the UFC, but takes time. It's okay. Yes, I train hard. And how do you feel? You're still you're still young. You're 31. 30, yes, 30, 31. Yes. Do you, how do you feel? You feel healthy. You feel strong. You you do you feel good? Like you're you're healthy as an athlete because uh, you're not not too old yet for mm. UFC. But now I'm feel I'm I'm one to fight. Mm. I'm I'm feel I'm. I'm I need to fire. I'm, I need to hit some people and feel good, bro. Well, not me. Don't hit us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Hans. Hans yeah. you, you can. You, you see Hans at training sometimes. Yes. Yes. yes, uh, yes. How's he doing? Does he is he good or no? Tell the truth. He shit. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. No. He's he is he. Um. Have you done classes like you've trained Hans on like pad work and? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How, how's his kick for a Farang? Is he he's turning the hip? Oh, sometimes. Oh. It's <laughs> <laughs> He's being nice. Yeah, where's the? We need to get the camera on Hans here. Hey, are you training Muay Thai? No, no, never. No, A didn't, A didn't want to be on camera. I told Hans to cut to her. We have a, our dog here though. She wants to be on camera. <laughs> she's half asleep. Um, yeah, she's a she's a bit of a lunatic. Uh, so for today, you you go back to training at you said at four o'clock. Yes, four p.m. Yeah. And that's just you're you're doing the instruction for the Muay Thai class. Uh, morning. Uh, for the Muay Thai class today, you're like you're doing one on ones. It's a class. How does uh, that work? How does that work? But now, now, now we have I have, have fire like Nick. Just where uh, I'm, I'm some someday. Okay, I want to do PT, but Monday, like a Chanang Khan, Puhat Sao Puhat Suk. Ah, man, man, it's too much. I don't want. I don't want to. You don't want to. That's all I picked up. <laughs> it's like a one tamada, like a mani. Yes, but the one put up, I want to do it because one one two, it's it's easy. Okay. Um, like daily, like Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday. Yes. He he doesn't want to to uh jump to class much or teach much. Yes, right? yes. Because he feels so tired. But Wednesday he okay. Uh, so again, like you don't want to train, just more sabai sabai. Yes, no, I, I'm, I'm training and training very hard. I, I'm not the one to train before. Just I'm, I'm forgot training. Focus on your training. Yeah. And you, which city are you going to? Where in China? Shanghai or something. Shanghai. Okay. Yeah. Have you have you been to China no, before? No, bro. It's just but my my friend him tell me, oh, you come to be trainer there, but I don't know. No. Yeah. no. <laughs> Uh, I, I I live there five years. Oh, uh, just you know everything. Uh, yeah, pump pump you pre pre jean happy. Uh, yeah. but I think Thailand better, bro. Hans is judging my Thai. I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, th of course. Come on. Um, Shanghai is cool though. Shanghai is a nice city, and if you go in May, the weather it's okay. It's not mm. too cold. Okay. But Shanghai in like oh my god December, fuck, <laughs> so cold. Stay in Thailand, yeah, bro. Yeah, of course. I stay at the beach. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, for for yourself, when you get older, I I know you 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 don't want to think too far. Uh huh. Just one step. But when you're older, like maybe 50, 60, where do you see yourself? Would you love to still be involved in in Muay Thai training, a gym, or do you want to go back home to the farm? No, just. When I'm 50, like maybe I'm go Argentina with my girlfriend, do 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 them like a some one gym in, in Argentina, just stay there like a training people. Easy life. Yes, easy, easy life. life. Like a 50 years old, bro. Just yeah, it's a long way. <laughs> it's a long way. I was maybe like a drink beer, smoke weed or something, just yeah. leave like myself and attend all year. Like yes. I'd like that too. Yeah, one day. It's coming. Yes. I think I'm not 50, 37. I'm getting <laughs> there. 
Uh, what what does your girlfriend think about uh, this career in fighting? She supports it. Is it scare her? No, but her support me a lot. Mm. Just her keep me for God. You looking every lady keep you for God. Some just man think crazy every day, bro. Man like uh, sometimes want to drink, sometimes want to drunk. Just help lady for like for God you rose. Understand? Just for God you rose. Like your dream, lady support. You look at every report, but listen. You why always listen? Your girlfriend, you go to be good guy, the best guy. Yeah, I, you. She helps. If she's here, I only drink twelve beer. Ah. <laughs> if she's not here, maybe twenty. Yes, of course, bro. <laughs> of course. And no, still probably twenty. Yeah, it's uh, you, you save me some nights. We go home at maybe one o'clock, two o'clock. If she's not here. Pff, Knows. Yeah, maybe never no, go home. Yes. Like he said, you need to listen. Hey, okay, uh. I listen. I listen. It's it's hard. Thailand is um when when you're farang or you're Thai in Thailand, just it's not like Canada or USA. Canada, USA, the bar will say go home. You mm. have to go home. We close. Mm. Thailand, you never close. No. So you 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 just keep drinking and drinking until everybody goes home. No, just you you have to like uh, be careful, bro. Yeah. When you drink, you, when you drink a lot and go home, just when you wake up somewhere, you know the stand, just you know, just I'm you looking uh, one movie like hang out or something. Hangover, yeah. Yes, yeah, just when when I'm young, I'm do this a lot. I'm when I wake up where there, just I sleep with who and then just fuck, bro. Just be careful. But that's are you drinking? Uh, what is it? Uh, what's it called? The Tom. The Tom. Tea, Katom. Oh, you drink Katom. Yes, of course. How how is this? It's kind of like what's it feel like? Feel like uh, energy. Oh, really? Yes. Ah, okay. Feel like energy drink. I think uh, like um, one of my friends, she she had a company selling it, but it it's good for training as well. You can use. Yes, yes. Mm. Uh, here you sell, bro. Just when you drink, when you training, finish, you drink Katom like morning, like morning you wake up, you like. Wrong, listen. Well, just drink a lot, no good. Same me, no good. But you, you, everything, when you do a lot bad, you just you have to be careful. Like uh, do little, like weed, whiskey, beer, katom, everything. Yeah, that's why I just stay to beer. Otherwise, I get too crazy. <laughs> but the um the katom, do you, a lot of time. Ta- um, Muay Thai fighters and gyms, they can you make it yourself. Yes. Do Do you know how to make it? Yes, of course. H- how do they make kratom? It's the leaf and boil with the you what put the, the medicine in. Uh, sap son gan na. This is more complicated. More complicated than that. More complicated than. Yes. But where where to? Or I don't know if we can share or explain where to get the kratom leaf. You can grow it or the jungle. You dry motorbike. You everywhere. see everywhere. <laughs> oh, really? What? Next time, tell me. Let's get some no, kratom everywhere. on the podcast. No, everywhere. Yeah? Yeah, everywhere. On the roads, the side, on the street. Just everywhere. Even Thai, in Thai, Thai, Thai language, you know the thing. Like oh, selling? Yes. Ah. Katom. Katom. Why don't you ever tell me? <laughs> I don't know that you're interested in this. Yeah, let's get some kratom today. Yeah, that's see good that. for you. Yeah, I, I tried the drink. I find it... Um, I took it at the gym, uh-huh. and I was just very like, and then I like the music. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. yes, like yes. You yes, can yes. feel it's very you're yeah feeling, exercise like yeah. a feeling good. Yeah, it's it's and kratom. It's safe. It's not that dangerous, right? Yes, not that dangerous, but not drink a lot. Every, I tell you, everything danger when you drink a lot, do a lot, but <laughs> be careful, bro. What happens? Like, how much is too much? Like, you're talking like uh, a mm. big cup or. Like the, for okay, me, this for this cup here, you. you oh yeah, yeah. For some reporting first time, I think one cup. Done, so finish. Dead. No, no. When when you drink a lot, when you drop four or five cups, you, you grow up. Oh, you puke. Throw yeah, up. Yeah, oh, yeah, shit. yeah. But feel good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think now it's becoming. Uh, this le- guy him drinking Tom. You drink your Tom? Yeah, Hans, yeah. Hans does everything. We don't trust him. <laughs> no, look at this dog. This dog looks like she drank some kratom right now. Uh, <laughs> no, 
But I, I thought Kratom too, it can make you like uh, not too yes. like more calm, mm -hmm. and not too uh, too much energy. Sometimes you make for your work, or sometimes you make a ton for you sleeping. Mm. You know, when when you need to sleep, and you drink some. Uh, you make it, but you know when when you want to like uh, work up or want to train before you, you drink some Kratom more strong. When when you want sleeping, just you drink. Ah. Uh, no, no, no more, no, no strong. Like then just sleeping, eat really good. Yeah, like different dosage. So yes, sleeping, yes. just drink a bit less. Yeah. And if you want to go faster, you, you, you can talk about this bit. Chart. I think Josh, yeah. you know a lot. Do they? A lot of taxi drivers they take kratom or do they take the beetle nut? Um, like if they usually the the not taxi but the white van, the big ah, the airport they, airport van. Yes, they drink they, a lot of kratom. Mm, airport. Yeah, like you know the guys with the airport vans, the big white airport van. You no. see, they drive crazy everywhere here. Oh, like a, I don't know some people, bro. Just I noticed then this area. Just I, I'm not go like airport. Like, I'm yeah, like yeah. a fly down. I'm, I'm never know. Just everyone there doing at home. Mm. Just normal. I see in front at Surin Beach. We we call it or she calls it uh, when when when. When, like a Wen Wen gang. It's the little kids. The grand. The grand. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. They, if you go over to them, the motorbikes, I always see like a, like a bottle of medicine and a pill pack. I think it's called like tr Tramadol. Do you, do you know? You yeah, see pharmacy. It? Yeah, it's like a farm. What are they taking? It's, it, do you know what they are taking? It's not Kratom. Some, yeah, looking, some, some pharmacy have this. They have. แล้วเหมือนเหมือนแบบเฉพาะเคาะรอบรอบขายเราเราจะรู้ที่ซื้อแต่ว่าบางบางร้านขายยามันก็ไม่มีครับมันมันจะเป็นที่ซื้อเ
so good. But but when you leave Thailand, you you don't talk about like Pad Thai. Just you same like uh, new guy there and it's then new wrong there. Now Thai omelet. Thai omelet. Oh, yeah. This we make this. A lot oil. Yeah, and a lot of pork. You eat pork? Or? Yes. Okay. Like kaiya mu sap che ma. Aloy. His favorite. I love this thing. Oh my god. A lot of oil and then the what's the red sauce called? The red sauce. Uh. Salmon kothet ma. Saprik. Oh, yeah. salmon kothet. Yeah. Yeah. The sweet sauce, chili. So. What What do you What do you usually eat every day? Like, what's your type of favorite meal? Mm, Thai Thai uh, Isan food. I like a lot Italian Isan food. Maybe some dam. Some dam. Pala. Yes, pala. Like a kung sot. Just kung sot. Kung pa sangki kawan na. Shrimp. You also like uh, raw shrimp. Yeah, uh, me too. Yeah, just a laugh and coin uh, like beef no make. Yeah. You know like what I mean? Tartar, beef tartar. Yeah. <laughs> is it like a laugh? Yeah, like not cooked. Yeah, just yeah, same laugh, but yeah, but no, no, no not cooked. Where you make it or how? Sometimes I make it, but I'm going to buy it easy. Where, you know? where? This one, I it's like n- not cooked raw beef, not cooked beef. Mm-hmm. What you can buy in Phuket? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where? It's our food. It's our restaurant. Yeah. Yes. yes. Every uh, it's our restaurant. Yes, have this. Yeah, we eat a lot. Of, we go to a lot of like seafood though, like uh, hoi sap. You know hoi sap. Ah, uh, you know hoi sap, meh? It's a restaurant in Isan. Oh, hoi sap. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Hoi sap. Clam. Yes, yes. Clam. And this one. Aloy Mark, yeah. It's good. Maybe that's where. Where are we going? Are we going to hoi sap? Yeah. Oh yeah. I like the <laughs> mu mutol. Mutol, bro. Yeah. <laughs> mutol, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and the sticky rice, and then I use the red. What's bro, the just yeah. e- e- easy food. This everywhere mutol, yeah. you know. I love this shit. Oh, so good. I know. Okay, I'm getting hungry. Okay, um, before we end the podcast, uh, I'm gonna kick the camera. This is his camera. Okay, so the camera will go to you. Uh, just let everybody know how they can find you Instagram Bangtao Muay Thai mm-hmm. um, just to let them know if anyone wants to reach out to you okay <laughs> yes. now yeah uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. YouTube, Facebook Instagram okay 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 just ready yeah yeah go for it <laughs> yeah, no worries uh, uh, please follow me just uh Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Top Noi, Kiram, T O P N O I, Kiram, K I W R A M. Just, I have a lot. Top Noi, Kiram. Again. <laughs> yeah, and we'll. T O P. Don't, we'll, we'll, we'll put links in the description. Don't worry. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll make it a big, big, a bit easier. Oh, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Top, top Noi, Kiram. Yeah, K I think it's K K I W R A M. Yes. Top 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 Noi T O P N O I K I W R A M. Yes. Pretty much that's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Everything. Yes. They'll find you on there. Yes. I'll put all the links in the description. Uh, before we we shout out, don't forget we're doing the mushroom supplements, cordyceps. Um, we have some nootropics focus. I took some of that before the podcast. I hope I was focused. Otherwise, maybe don't buy it. Um, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks a lot, A, for translating. Huge thanks to uh, Piggy for just flopping around today. And oh, she's waking up. And Top Noi, thanks a lot, man, okay, for coming yeah. out. I hope it went well. If there's anything we said too much of, we'll cut it out. I'm sure we're a bit crazy. Um, yeah, and cup and cup. Cup and cup. Cup and cup. Thank you. Cup See you guys. We're out. See you, bro.